Dear friends, welcome to the next problem of chems, that is problem number 7. The information of the problem is like this. Draw a chem profile for the chem operating a knife edge follower having a lift of 40 mm. The chem raises the follower with uniform acceleration and deceleration for 120 degree of the rotation followed by a period of dwell for 40 degree. The follower descends for the next 120 degree rotation of the cam with simple harmonic motion again followed by a dwell period. The cam rotates at uniform velocity of 120 rpm in counterclockwise direction and has a least radius of 30 mm. What will be the maximum velocity and acceleration of the follower during the lift and return? Friends, let us first note down the given information. Here it has been given that lift of the follower is 40 mm that is h is equal to 40 mm. Angle of ascent phi a is 120 degree during which the rotation of the cam the follower rises then dwell is 40 degree during which the follower remains as it is and angle of descent is 120 degree during which the follower returns. The cam rotates at 120 rpm. The List radius of the cam is given 30 mm. We have to find out the maximum velocity and acceleration during ascent and descent. And also we have to draw the cam profile for that. Here the angular speed omega of the cam is given by 2 pi n by 60 where n is 120 on substitution we found angular speed of cam omega is equal to 12.57 radian per second. Now during rise there is a uniform acceleration and deceleration. In this case the maximum velocity is given by 2h into omega upon phi a where angle of ascent phi a is to be substituted in radian. So we found it is 2 into 40 into 12.57 divided by this phi degree is converted into radian by multiplying pi and divided by 180. So we found V max is equal to 480.13 millimeter per second. And the maximum acceleration is given <coughs> and that is nothing but the uniform acceleration as the pattern of the motion is it is given by 4 h omega square upon phi a square. Again the angle of percent phi a is to be substituted in radian. So it is multiplied by pi divided by 180. On calculation we found the maximum acceleration that uniform acceleration is 5763.33 millimeter per second square. Now during return there is a simple harmonic motion. So for that case the maximum velocity is given by h by 2 into pi omega upon phi d. Here phi d is the angle of descent and again it is to be substituted in radian. So we found during return the maximum velocity is equal to 377.1 millimeter per second and the maximum acceleration during simple harmonic motion is given by f max is equal to h by 2 into pi omega upon phi d whole square again phi d in radian and we found it is 7110.5 millimeter per second square. Now for displacement diagram, we are considering a scale 
The scale for lift is to be taken is 1 millimeter is equal to 1 millimeter that is 1 is to 1 and scale for rotation is taken 2 degree is equal to 1 millimeter. Here the cam rotation during follower motion is theta is equal to addition of angle of ascent plus angle of dwell plus angle of tail written we found it is equal to 120 plus 40 plus 120 is equal to 280 degree. Here lift is 40 mm and the cam rotation is 280 degree. So the rectangle for displacement diagram will having size of 140 mm that is scale of 1 is to 2 of this angle of rotation and 40 mm that is 1 is to scale that is of lift. So, let us draw a rectangle having size of 140 mm by 40 mm. Divide this length of the rectangle into three parts angle of ascent, angle of dwell, and angle of descent. And mark them as phi a that is angle of ascent delta 1 as angle of dwell and phi d as angle of descent now as the ascent motion is of constant acceleration and deceleration type divide it into six equal parts and draw vertical lines indicating six parts. And number them one, two, three up to six. Considering the middle line, line number three, divide it into again same number of equal parts that is six parts here height is about uh, 40 mm so the each division will be little less than the 7 mm and number them in six ones sequence one two three up to six now draw a inclined line from this first point indicated on middle line to the lowermost corner of this displacement diagram of the ascent. Similarly, draw inclined line from point 2 to the lowermost corner, point 3 and then draw such inclined line from uppermost corner of the displacement diagram to 4 and 5. Displacement diagram of the constant acceleration and deceleration part. Now mark the points intersecting vertical line and inclined line respectively as 1 dash. Similarly, intersection of second vertical and inclined line 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, and 5 dash respectively. 6 and 6 dash will be same. Now join all the points with a smooth curve that gives the displacement curve or displacement diagram for ascent. During 12 there is no motion of the follower so it will be a horizontal line. Now again divide this descent angle into six number of equal parts 
and draw vertical lines indicating those six equal parts s the descent motion is a simple harmonic type so to draw it take a center as a middle point of the lift on left side and diameter is equal to the lift draw a semicircle on left side now divide this semicircle angle into same number of equal parts what we have divided the angle of descent and number this parts 1 6 7 up to 12 and number the parts of the circle in this that order as it is a descending like it is 11 10 9 and the top most will be the 6 accordingly now draw horizontal line from point 11 on semicircle which will intersect the vertical line from point 11 similarly draw a horizontal line from 10 which will intersect to the vertical line of 10th part and subsequently for 11 uh, 9 8 and 7 now mark this point on the curve where there is a intersection of horizontal line and vertical line of number 6 mark 6 dash similarly vertical line from 7 and horizontal line from 7 7 days 8 days 9 days etc join all these points starting from 6 7 days 8 days 9 days by a smooth curve and that gives the displacement diagram with a simple harmonic motion so this is the displacement diagram for the entire follower now to draw the cam profile take arbitrary center and radius is equal to least radius of the cam that is 30 mm in this case draw a circle now draw a vertical line passing from the center and which will indicate the line of stroke of the follower or line of action of the follower as there is a no offset here the cam rotates in counter clockwise direction so the profile will be on right side so draw a angle is equal to angle of ascent that is 120 degree from this vertical line that is a line of action of the follower similarly draw a angle of descent indicating 40 degree and mark it and sorry it was angle of dwell now angle of descent and mark it the first one is angle of ascent that is phi a then angle of dwell and angle of descent now divide this angle of ascent into same number of equal parts what we have divided the displacement diagram during ascent that is six number it will be progressively at 20 degree 40 degree 60 degree etc and draw radial lines from those points from center to those mark points at 
respective 20, 40, 60 degree, etc. Now, similarly divide the angle of descent into same number of equal parts that is 6 as we have divided into displacement diagram. Again, it will be at 20 degree, 40 degree, 60 degree likewise and similarly draw the radial lines from center to those division marks. Now, mark these points on the circle at 1, 2, 3 as we have marked them on the displacement diagram on horizontal line. It will be up to 12. Now, transfer the distance of displacement as on the first vertical line 1, 1 dash from point 1 on the circle to the radial distance and mark that point on this first division. Similarly, transfer the distance 2 to dash from the displacement diagram on this <coughs> radial line from 2 on and mark the point. Similarly, transfer distance 3, 3 dash from the displacement diagram to this cam profile from point uh, 3 on this outward line. Do all this for point, uh, point number 4, point number 5 up to point number 11. Here, during the dwell, the displacement remains same though it will be at the same radius and that is equal to the lift of the follower. Now, number these points like as we did in the displacement diagram 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, etc. Now, join all this point from T of the follower to 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash up to 12 dash, uh, so 11 dash and 12, 12 dash and 12 will be the same with a smooth curve. During 12, there will be a curve of radius equal to lift and remaining will be a smooth curve for joining all points. So, this is giving you the cam profile for the given condition without offset and when the cam is rotating in the opposite means counterclockwise direction. Thank you friends and you are most welcome. If any query is there, I will like to answer. Thank you.